were the world's first milk sommelier. That's what they say. <laughs> I'm, I'm still not really convinced. So the robots recognize the cow. The cow will recognize the cow. This is here in the Netherlands. This is how. It is international. Wow. Lady is big. Now you start getting these invites from the BBC. How was that whole process for you? I was a bit intrigued by it because it's never my idea to get in the spotlight. It was one of the biggest marketing companies in the world that I think was also doing Coca-Cola. So wow. I thought, okay, this is serious business. Read, to read a lot of books? Wrote. No, what I wrote. Wrote them? Reading, no, no, no. Uh, you read? Reading, read. Yes. Okay. <laughs> English teacher <laughs> again. Well, I mean, you can't just claim to write a bunch of books no, no, about no, no, it. No, 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 no. I just bought a lot. <laughs> Why did you go to Ghana? I thought that I didn't like to go out of Europe. What do I have to do in Africa? But when I went, went off the plane over there, everything was good and I loved it. She asked me, how do you taste? And I'd never thought about. Is that different in a literal translation in Dutch? How do you taste? Because in English that could also come across as a bit of a uh, different type of question that she could be asking. Okay, you. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to explain. <laughs>